what's up what's up good morning to all of you it depends on when um you are watching me good morning good afternoon and good evening to you as well so guys um today i have with me with uh how to bring your family here in italy here um very so easy and very simple because um, a lot of things has changed you know this year things have really changed and i think it's very important for me to just address you and know how you can also bring your family. I, mean, I know most of you out here left your wife and your children and your husbands at home, even your mother and your father, okay? So these are the people, if you want to bring them, the law has given you the straight and go ahead. And the easiest way to bring them is exactly what I'm going to tell you. So if you are new here, guys, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and then share the video to a friend. You know, we foreigners are the most people that we always think about home, you know? The loved ones that we left at home, we always want to bring them here, but we don't even know how to start it and where to go. So I have with me how you can go about it, okay? So before we started, if you have asylum um, protection, okay, asylum protection, there is a document called um, asylum, uh, which is normally five years, you know, five years, and we have um, subsidiary holders, okay, that is also normally five years also. So if you have these two documents, the law has given you every single right to bring your family home here to Italy here, so easy, and I'm going to tell you. So let's start it. Okay, say so asylum and subsidiary document holders can bring their family without work contract. Even if you are not working, okay, even if you are not working, please pay attention and listen very, very careful. Even if you have no job doing, the law has given you the right to bring your family despite of um, you not having the job, okay. The fact that you have a silo document or subsidiary document, you can what you can bring your family into this country without you not having any stress. So, let me start with you. He said, with this permit, so you have the right, you have the same right as Italian citizens, apart from political ones like voting and bringing, uh, bringing elected to public office. So if you have an um, asylo document or you have subsidiary document, you have every right as just an Italian person, okay? Like, um, like an Italian man or Italian woman have their right. You have the same right, just that your right has been limited on some certain things. What are the things you can't vote in this country? For example, you like Savini, you don't like Conte, and they are voting. You can't go and vote, okay? Yeah. Or you cannot be voted to bring into public, uh, 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 elected to a public office. You understand? You can't. These are the two things that you can't, um, you, you, the law restricts you from. Okay, the law restricts you from this kind of things. So that's just that. But apart from that, you have every right. He said, you do, ho you do however you have the right to. Okay, you do however and your right to. So listen to your rights if you have this kind of document, asylum document or subsidiary document. This is your personal right and what to do. Okay, um, you have a... <laughs> You have, uh, you have your rights, and these are your rights. Stay in the SPRA center. Your right to reception. So if you have an um, asylum document, you have every right to stay in the SPRA. Somebody say, what is SPRA? Okay, SPRA is just another project for immigrants. For example, where you are now that you are waiting for your document is a different center. And after you get this um, asylum document or you have a um, subsidiary document, you still have another place that they can take you to. That is called SPRA. Okay, that's where they give you a house to stay there for, uh, um, sometimes, yeah, they give you a house, depend on your project, they give you a house where to stay with you alone or with your family, you can stay there till um, your spra got finished and then they have to go and get you an apartment to go and stay in. That is also a different process, okay? So, you have the right to stay in the spra center and your right to reception. Okay, your right to reception, meaning you have the right to get the food. They have to give you food, uh, medical attention, and hygiene products. Okay, you have all this right. When you are in the spread, you have every right to take money, food, and medical attention, and the hygiene products. Number two, work in Italy, but not in any other European countries. If you have this document, the law gives you every right to work in Italy here, but not in any other country like um, Germany, Spain, France, um, Spain, and the rest of the European um, countries. 
you have no right to work there but you have the right to work here number three access the italian healthcare system okay you have every right to access the italian care system that is the ssn you can go to the um italian hospital the public hospital wherever that you can go to any hospital you have every right to take uh to be taken care of in case you are sick and access to the italian public education system okay you have every right to i mean go to school in italy here with this document any kind of school that you want to go you have every right to go to that car um that kind of school okay and then ask to bring your family that is number um number four one two three four okay access to the italian part okay i read this and then um we have um number five access to bring family through family reunification okay this is our main topic how to bring your family to italy here and how you can start it but this is just your right okay if you have this document your right is what i'm just telling you so as soon as i finish telling your right we will just go into details of how to bring your family members home it, no matter where they are ghana gambia senegal nigeria congo cameroon and mention them okay you can bring them to italy and further you have subsidiary document and asilo document you can bring these people here okay so he said um number six Z apply for italian citizenship at after five years of holding this permit so that is um asilo okay if you have asilo documents you can apply for italian citizenship after the five years that the document acts expired okay and you have subsidiary documents also subsidiary document also you can apply for um italian citizenship after 10 years okay yeah so these are two different the asilo is five years and the subsidiary document too is also what 10 years okay so um let me get in again he said obtain a travel document for refugees called documento di viaggio it acts as a um, as a subs substitute for your national passport you know most of you when um when you have this permit asilo doc um, asilo permit or um subsidiary document these are document that does not allow you to go to your country on because the moment you go to your country the document will be taken away from you um so when you have this document you have to stay here for example you have asilo you have to stay here for more than five years or let's say exactly five years and you, you can renew it that is when you can go back to your country and subsidiary to the same way okay you can't go to your country so the only way that you can do or you can't even go to your embassy you know when you get to your embassy in rome or anywhere your your embassy can be in rome or milan or bologna or wherever you can't go there to apply for your um, nationality or your national passport it's never done like that so the only right that the italian government gives you is to apply for titolo di viaggio document it's just a passport also normally i think it's green so yeah if i'm not mistaken it's green and they've written titolo di viaggio this is a passport that will act just like your country passport okay good so you have every right to apply for that passport and then um this is um somebody may ask me um i'm done with your your right okay this is um the right that you can you have if you have um, a asylum document and subsidiary document so let me go to how you can bring your family to italy here uh, if you have um asylum document or subsidiary document okay so guys listen you can first of all go to cgl or calf okay calf or cgl they they are there and that's where most of you do your bonus mama bonus baby and all that kind of stuff okay and um, these are the same place that you can go to file your application okay so let me start it you can go to cg or CAF to file the application and after 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 you file, no after after CAF will send it to prefectura so that means when you go to CAF or CGL to um to file your document or to file the application of how to bring your family here when they're done with it they might give you a copy and they will send the copy to what prefectura most of you know prefectura prefectura is where the money that uh, the pocket money that you get okay is coming from it's just an institute where um money gets in okay let me just put it this way in the simplest way that's where refugees get their support from okay um whether you go to transfer um, whether you 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 
you need pocket money or wherever it's come from this prefectura okay sometimes they can choose to transfer you to a certain place that you don't like it you have to go back to the prefectura to complain anywhere you are in italy the father you are in in camp okay it is the prefectura that gives the camp order the camp is just somebody's work okay where you are now is somebody's contract it's prefectura that give your couple contract to take care of you so the the most important things or the anything that comes is coming from prefectura you, you understand yeah so the when the calf is done with um, the application they have to send it to um prefectura so prefectura will then give you a nula oster because you can't go to your embassy to do to do your nula oster there because you have a zillow and subsidiary documents okay these are two documents we are talking about it doesn't matter the one that you have okay you guys are the same okay so you can't go to your country um your country embassy in rome milan wherever that your embassy is to do your nula oster you, so the prefectura will be the one to give you the nula oster so um when they give you the nula oster then you have to send that nula oster back to africa okay so that is where the, the process will begin in africa here you are done so the the rest of the process will begin from africa and then you can bring your family to italy here you can also go to the prefectura directly to file your forms if you don't want to go to CAF, you don't want to go anywhere you can go straight to prefectura to get this um, application done and they will give you um, you know, because of the coronavirus, you need appointments everywhere, everywhere you go, okay? So, you can get an appointment from the prefectura and you go there to file the forms and that is how they will give you your nula oster. It's the simplest way, okay? There's nothing like difficultness in this, you know, it's so short and simple, okay? So, guys, this is how we started and that's how it ends, by bringing your family. As soon as the prefectura give you your nula oster, you send it back home and then... The rest of the thing will be done in africa okay good so the the document that you need before you can bring your family or before you can even apply for um bringing them here is what i'm gonna tell you i'm, I'm gonna tell you it's about you that you are here in italy okay what are the documents that you need before you can apply for this um family reunification okay so number one you need your asylum document or your subsidiary document Okay, two, you need your Qatar the identity. Three, you need apartment or a single room. This is where the problem is. Um, according to the law, it doesn't it doesn't say um, you need to get your own apartment, like two bedroom self-contained or three bedroom self-contained or five bedroom. It doesn't say that. You can even rent somebody's single room, okay? Let me say the house doesn't contain your name, okay? You are also renting from a black person, okay? So, if you are renting from a black person, that means you have only single room in that house, okay? Where you can even use that address to order something online or to buy something anywhere or even to receive your letter in that same house, even though the house is not in your name. You, you get it? Yeah. So, you can even apply for it, even if you have just single room. No matter how many family members you want to bring them, they can bring them to you. The father, you have somewhere to put your head. Okay, that's exactly what the law says. Remember, not all documents can um, guarantee you to bring your family just the way these two documents works. Okay, in some documents, you need to have your apartment. Apartments should be apartment, not single room. But these two documents has been put into consideration. Uh, you, you understand? Yes. So, um, and it says... Uh, you can live in a, in someone's room, in someone's single room. The most important thing is to have an address to present. That means when you go to Questura, sorry, the Prefectura, the Prefectura will ask you your address, okay? The only thing, you cannot be living outside or you cannot be living in the train station and you want to bring your family here in Italy. It doesn't work that way because, number one, you need to get your own apartment, okay? Or a single room where you have an address to present. For example, if you are living in, with me here in my house, you maybe I have a single room for you. You are living there in the single room. I can you can use my address to what get whatever that you want to get. You can use it to um, to receive anything that you want to receive. Okay, they only want you to present an address where when they are looking for you, they can find you. Where they want to send you a letter, you can receive it. That's the most important thing in family reunification. Okay, 
if you want to bring them you need to present an address presenting an address means you need to have a place where you put your own head okay it doesn't matter if you are working or not it doesn't matter if you have an apartment on your own or a single room where you are renting okay so the law will give you the right to bring them if you have not married your partner or sorry if you have not married your husband or your wife in your home country how do you bring them that means um it is not um rightfully your wife okay let me say it's your girlfriend or he is your boyfriend okay so if you want to bring such person you cannot bring them because you guys have not married yet in your country and here you cannot go back to your country to go and marry that person and bring him or her just because the document that you have it is written in the law that you have no right to go back to your country because you have a problem in your country that is the reason why they've given you the protection that you ask them to give you that is your asylum um, political document and that is the same the subsidiary document that they've given it to you okay so you cannot go back to your country so how do you marry such person and bring the person here you can go to the nearby country for example if we're if we're from ghana okay you can go to ghana and go and marry your wife or um your your brother sorry your your husband there to bring him here or her here it doesn't work that way so you can go to nigeria okay and your partner will come to nigeria because it is um it's a nearby country where you can get married to him or her in nigeria and you can use that certificate okay to come here and apply for the family reunification other than that you can't bring him or her here but if it is your son or your daughter the only thing that you have to do to bring such child here in this country if the child is under age you have to do what we call um dna okay that shows that that baby is your real baby not somebody's baby and if you and the father is no more you guys are not in, in relationship or in dating again they still need the father's approval before that child can join you here so if you have a misunderstanding or a problem with the father you need to settle those things so that the father can give you the approval or else the father can sue that embassy for allowing her son or a daughter to join you the mother too it is done like that they can sue the embassy so the only thing that you need to do is to have um your dna with your daughter or a son and then the approval of the father that yes me i am the father of this child i'm allowing you to go and join your mother without that approval the child can't join you trust me it doesn't done that way so you need to um think of all those things it is by law if you go to the italian embassy in africa they will still tell you the same thing that i'm telling you okay yeah so that is i've told you about how you can get married in a nearby country and bring use that certificate to what bring your wife or husband here in this country because you can't go back to your country okay yeah and then um number two he said um you can marry your partner in another nearby country and then you use that certificate of marriage to apply to bring him or her here so guys that is the easiest way of bringing your family here in 2021 you don't need a work contract if you have these two documents in other documents you might have a work contract and you might show all these things and have your own apartment these are two documents that have been put into consideration thank you for being here on my channel if your first time here guys subscribe and share the video to a friend you know thank you so much god bless you for being here until we meet again tomorrow or next i don't know you know eh, i don't know but um, we're still on it any important news will be updated here on this channel stay tuned thank you for having me here god bless you